Hi, my name is Dana Morgan, and this is just a quick demo of a game board that I created in Smart Notebook. Now, this is a generic board game. It can be used for all grade levels, all content areas, using resources that you already have on hand, whether that be worksheets or task cards or even just questions that you want to present orally to your students. So this is a really versatile game um, in that regard. I also like that it can be very versatile in terms of the amount of time that you want to spend on it. This is a great filler activity if you end up with an extra 10 or 15 minutes at the end of class that you didn't plan for. Or um, you can also play this all period long and it keeps the kids engaged for a long time. So this is the uh, page that you see when you open the file. On the second slide here, I just have my uh, copyright information. It tells you how you can share this with other teachers that you know. I have some short instructions here on the third slide, as well as some ideas that I've come up with as I've used this resource in my classroom. And uh, on the fourth slide here, it's just a reminder that you can follow me on Teachers Pay Teachers and get 50% off of my, pro my new products when I post them. So the fifth slide here is really all you need to play the game with your class. This is what the game board looks like. So what you'll do is divide your class into up to 10 teams, right? You don't need that many, but that 10 would be a maximum. And uh, have each team select one of these tokens to represent them, All right? And the way kids do that is they'll just, if they have a team that wants to be the chicken, they just drag the chicken up to the start space, All right? Let's say I have another team that wants to be the ice cube. And let's say I have another team who wants to be the dime. Right? And it doesn't matter what order they put their tokens up there because um, what I'll typically do is give each team a task. Maybe I have a worksheet that I need them to do or maybe I have task cards for them. I'll go ahead and give that to every team and say, all right, get started. When you finish with number one or when you finish the problem on your card, call me over. If your answer is correct, then someone from your team gets to go up and click on the die. All they have to do is touch it if you have a smart board. If you don't have a smart board, you can still use this if you're comfortable with the kids using your computer and tapping it with your mouse. All right, so chicken, team chicken here rolled a two. So that means that they would get to drag their chicken two spaces. All right, then they're gonna go back to their table and they're gonna get started on their next task. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's say ICE team finished their task, so they get to roll, and this, I, I rolled a four that time, so I would just advance this four spaces. All right, then they're going to go back and get started on their next task. All right, so this is a really fun way to do a boring, boring old worksheet. It also works really well with task cards, especially if you've got, like me, um, uh, an inclusion class. I teach eighth grade inclusion math, so I've got kids on, you know, I've got a really wide range of ability levels and learning goals, and this allows me to um, give kids the you know, content that is appropriate for them. And they, they're all engaged simultaneously. I typically don't have teams, you know, taking turns because I don't want to have a, a whole room full of kids sitting around waiting on another team. So they're all engaged in their own tasks simultaneously. All right, let's say that um, the dime team has finished. They call me over. I like their work. So they get to go up and they get to take their turn. Oh, good. If that happens, just click on the white space. Um, and they can share a space, that's fine. All right. So what usually happens with this is, uh, in, at least with my eighth graders, they start to get competitive. They're working quickly because they want to be the first ones to reach finish. Um, and so that often leads to a lot of careless errors. So a rule that I started using that's worked out really well for me is I say, all right, guys, if I see you making careless mistakes and you get the problem wrong, what you're going to have to do is roll the die and move back. The corresponding number of spaces or to start if you can't move back five spaces just go back to start and um, that really entertains the rest of the class when a team has to do that and it encourages the kids to work with a greater degree of accuracy even if that slows them down a little bit so um, when they do reach the finish line or if we run out of time the team that is furthest along what I'll often do is just give them math dollars or maybe reduce their amount of homework or allow them to be the first ones to leave the room or something to that effect they get some kind of small reward as their prize so um, 
another thing that you might already know but may be worth sharing for some people is that this will display differently on uh, different computers just depending on how you have all of your settings configured. So you might want to come and play with, uh, with the display here. You could go full screen once the kids have picked their markers, right? Um, they don't really need to see the, uh, the, the black box down at the bottom that has all the available markers and they just need the game board. So you could experiment with how this uh, with how this displays best on your uh, particular setup. All right, and uh, when you're finished, your class is ready to leave. Uh, what you can do is go over to slide five here, uh, click on that little arrow and click reset page, and that will send everything back to where it was when you opened up the slide. So um, that's, that's pretty much it. Real simple way to uh, spice up your normal worksheets and task cards and turn it into a fun and collaborative game for your students. So I hope that you and your students really enjoy this resource. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, it's Dana underscore Morgan at hotmail.com. And uh, thanks so much.